Hello and welcome. I'm Kyle Feldman, and this is my summer internship project, analyzing the effects of FAA safety lighting on radiation measurements at NEON test sites. Because variations in the amount of electromagnetic radiation being emitted by the sun cause changes in the weather and climate across the globe, it is vital for researchers to accumulate accurate information to better model and plan for the future. Through the use of four component net radiation sensors, we can measure the amount of shortwave radiation, visible light, and longwave radiation, heat, that the Earth is receiving. The National Ecological Observatory Network, or NEON, has a number of terrestrial field locations, which include multi-story towers fitted with instruments such as radiometric sensors. Due to the heights of the structures at two NEON terrestrial field sites, the University of Kansas field site, UKFS, and the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center, CERC, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, requires these NEON test towers to have safety strobe lights. Because some of the instruments on the NEON towers measure visible light, shortwave radiation, this study addresses the potential effect that these FAA-mandated flashing lights have on the radiometric recordings of the sensors at the NEON test sites. This study first focused on addressing background information about the sensors, the lights, and the NEON towers to create a bottom-up estimate of what effect each type of lighting should have in either location. Then, this study used a top-down analysis of data by comparing the radiometric information from the CERC NEON tower to the radiometric records from a tower without the FAA lighting located in close proximity known as the Alternative Testing Location, or PSP. Through both the bottom-up estimate and the top-down analysis, the potential effects of the FAA safety lighting were shown to be less than the plus or minus 30 watts per meter squared error in directional response caused by non-perfect optical properties in the sensors. Thus, the FAA safety lighting has no discernible effect on radiometric recordings of shortwave radiation being taken at these neon terrestrial tower locations.